check it out guys it's your boy look at this friggin rain doesn't look like it's gonna let up for a while uh my antenna above that roof so i figured let's test the theory see how this thing performs in pretty decent downpour with carrier aggregation So I'm not complaining. Shit. I told you guys I'd give you a weather update. Let's do a quick Call of Duty test out, see what happens. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. I'm in my zone. There's the pooch. Hey, buddy. All right. So if you guys have not yet followed my freaking alien channel, you better do so now. Okay. What's it, what's it called? Uh... <laughs> Uh, meat of the matter UFO check it out guys um, I'm not like a weirdo or anything like that I just think it'd be cool to talk on topics so just like uh, you know weird things in the sky and all that cool shit so send me videos if you guys have them um, Matt or uh, what is it mystery matter UFO at gmail.com anyway I know y'all are obsessed with the MoFi videos and you're obsessed with my setup so let's see how fast we're getting on the internet here with the uh Oh, the damn MoFi. All right, let's just do a quick play. Hey, Care. Need you to hold this phone so I can shoot this. <laughs> In a second here. So you guys are probably wondering how well this is going to work through the, as you can see, rain. If I can get into an effing match anytime today, that would be epic. So what are you guys' thoughts on your MoFi setup? Did you guys get the parabolic grids? Did you get log periodics? What'd you get? I can tell you parabolic grid so far is the best damn weatherproof antenna so far. Okay. I don't even have it dialed in on band four to the lowest decibels, but I have it about negative 113-ish to get the aggregation from a band 13. Um, if I get it too good, um, that's fine. But if it gets crappy like this, it'll force aggregate itself anyway. So here you go. So let's see if we got any lag with this, uh, Call of Duty experience. Oh shit, I might want to turn this down. My All right. Three, five. He had it coming. All right, so. Like, oh, did I just see some foot feetsies? Oh, you bastard. Okay, so guys, you can use a hot spot like a MoFi or Cradle Point. I use a MoFi 4500, and you can game online. You can be in a city. You don't need the extra antennas that I was mentioning earlier, parabolic rings. You don't need that crap. But for people like me, we're about 12 miles from the tower. Dude, I am, I'm telling you guys, you saw them trees out there? This shit legit works, man. You saw I had almost 40 down. All right, so now that I've got myself killed multiple times, you guys can clearly see this is freaking lag proof. It is lag proof. It is effing lag proof. Watch, I'll even kill my teammates. Hold on. No lag. See? The explosion was clear. <laughs> All right. And cut. Okay, guys. 
let's log back into the MoFi while we're in this weather and see what my setup looks like. Check signal strength, quick check. See what the bands are doing. Yup, so just as I suspected. So you see how it just keeps jumping from active to inactive. It'll do that as it needs be. Uh, you probably won't even notice a difference. It's still aggregating, like I said, as long as it's showing another band over here, active or inactive, doesn't matter. Okay, signal quality, pretty shitty, but guess what? It's going off of band 13 signal quality, but it's taking band 4 signal quality. Thus, together, it's actually not really a negative 13. Um, it's going to fluctuate with the rain and the wind, guys, like I told you guys, but I just want to show you that performance. Okay, so now you have an idea. I'm on band 13 with four. Sometimes I can go to advanced band lock and I can flip flop it. Um, it'll be about the same damn speed. Um, I figure I'll keep it on the one that has the most bars. Do a speed test. Now I wanna show you guys something because I know some of you guys have been asking me this question, okay? Oh, damn, that's not the internet. That's the speed test. Um, they like want you to like upgrade or something. So it'll work when it wants to. Come on, you fucking bastard. I got time for this shit. Okay, cool. Just kicked in. So, <clears throat> 36 ping. Now we got weather, guys. So, you might not always get a speed test, but we'll see if she clicks in. <coughs> Freaking fail. Try this again. All right, cool. Now, we checked it on Wi-Fi on my wife's phone. That was Wi-Fi. This is actually line in, okay? It's not line in from the MoFi, not that you think, okay? So we're getting roughly about, around about the same, close to the same speeds. Um, yeah. So anyway, so... This computer is downstairs. It is nowhere near the freaking MoFi, okay? Nowhere. Um, it is basically, most computers you know in your house, if you're not gonna run lines, you, most of y'all are gonna probably do, use Wi-Fi, things like that. Well, a better solution to Wi-Fi is to get line in. How do you do that? You see, that is not the Wi-Fi, that is a line in, okay? LAN. I'm using what you call one of these. This is cheap. This came out, I don't know, three, four, five years ago. It's like one of the first generations. It's called a Netgear power line. All it is is a plug. It plugs into your wall, which you really don't want to plug it into and a thing like I have. You just want it directly into the wall. Um, and then that's the ethernet cable that comes out the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. And that's plugged directly into the back of this computer, okay? Now, that makes it line in. It is not, it is not an extender. It is not a repeater. It is a power line. How does it get internet? Well, all the green lights are on, so I know it's got internet, and it's connected, and it's got power. That's what every light means. So, it is plugged into my gaming router upstairs, which is direct connected to the MoFi. I will show you. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Hey, dude. Hey. All right, so, MoFi's in the attic, as you've seen from all my thousands of other videos, right? Okay. We got my son's computer. That's the only thing that's directly connected. And I think it's PS4. Uh, computer, PS4, the main, which is the MoFi, and what the fuck is this other one? Can't remember. Okay, anyway, oh, shit, and the, and the power line, which is why I'm showing you this. There it is, plugged in, right? There's the MoFi, it runs all the way up in there inside the attic crawl space. That, they say, see how it's got three lights? Doesn't matter where in the house, it goes through the wires through your walls, and it carries the internet from here to there. It's pretty crazy technology, guys, I know. Um, somebody told me about it a few years ago in Walmart, like, hey, have you tried a power line? I'm like, oh, what's that? I'm like, really? Oh, new technology, let me try it. These things are great, man. Go online, type in uh, like a Netgear power line or something like that. Make sure they, excuse me, make sure they friggin' work uh, because uh, they do. Yeah, that didn't make sense. All right, I'm coming all the way downstairs. You know, you saw how high my house is. We're way away from the router now. Okay, so there's my PlayStation, there's my TV. <sighs> we all know PlayStations are Wi-Fi capable. Yes, I can have Wi-Fi through my gaming router and game that way, but why would I wanna do that? I like that power line 
set up. I got like, you no, know, everybody says direct connection is better. So give me one second. Son of Shit. Tearing my house apart. Okay. You guys have seen this in my previous videos. You see that? That's a Netgear extender. That is LAN connected to my PS4. This can rebroadcast Wi-Fi through my house. That was my original thought when I was trying, because the house is so big, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna use that to put, give me more internet downstairs, more Wi-Fi coverage. Um, but if you look, there's a light that's supposed to be like right here, it's not lit. That is the Wi-Fi light. I have the Wi-Fi radio turned off in my extender. Why did I do that? Because I'm bringing, I'm bringing the Wi-Fi in from my gaming router to this, and then it's putting out the Wi-Fi through the LAN. So it's technically kind of like a power line, not really running through the lines in the house, but it's picking up the Wi-Fi through the, uh, the gaming router you saw upstairs, okay? It's really weird, but think about it. It's the kind of the same concept as the power line. It's not emitting Wi-Fi out in the house. I turn the radio off. I turn the, the 2.4 and the five gigahertz Wi-Fi bands off but the ethernet port on the bottom still works because if that's the internet light, it's still receiving internet. That means it has internet. It has never failed me in this mode. In fact, the reason why I did it that way rather than rebroadcast Wi-Fi downstairs, guys, is because uh, when you have extenders, okay, any kind of extender, I don't care, TP-Link, D-Link, Netgear, whatever, they will slow down your internet, hands down. Um, I, I noticed a significant increase in my speeds once I turned the radios off and then they weren't cross sucking bandwidth. Okay. Cause like what happens is, is like, this is supposed to like, you know, intertwine with, you know, your Wi-Fi, and then rebroadcast it and make it strong in areas that don't have coverage in your house. But the problem with that is, is it bogs down your internet. It's almost like it takes internet to take internet to this, to re put it back out. So. Do a speed test, try it, I'm telling you. You turn it off and then do a speed test, you realize, oh shit, my, yeah, that, that is slowing down my speeds. Remember like in my one of my very first videos, I told you I had a, I had a, uh, um, a repeater outside and I took that shit off, that shit was horrible, okay? So just make sure you got antennas big enough on your main source of, of internet Wi-Fi, like my gaming router, like I said, I can go all the way, way out there, okay? So just have something that's strong enough, that's all you friggin' need, man. That's all you friggin' need. So I told y'all I wasn't going to do any more MoFi videos and fucking whatever, but I, I had to, okay, because it was perfect, perfect storm. I kept saying in my last couple of videos, hey, maybe an update on how the weather is, how, how it performs, yada, yada, okay? So just this goes to show that I know what the F I'm talking about. I know it works, okay? Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. I can't help it if you live in a hole, if there's a mountain blocking the towers. Can't help you there. Get a goddamn thousand foot pole. Drill a hole in the mountain. Um, but bottom line, guys, um, I just want to throw this one up there real quick. Um, just want to let you guys know I love you. I hope you all got to check out that space launch today. That was freaking dope as crap, right? Right? SpaceX, people going to the moon, going to Mars, guys. Check it out. But anyway, um, you guys want to find out more shit on that kind of stuff, go to my, go to my new YouTube, man. Meet of the matter ufo it's all you gotta do search that or um search my name or some shit you'll see like a freaking alien looking thing um just trying to do a new project guys gotta stay busy during these times gotta have some fun you know what i mean um i, I really do appreciate all the comments the feedback the support the haters everyone please comment all day every day um if you guys have an idea on a new kind of video i could do That'd be cool. Uh, but in the meantime, um, guys, like I said, I can't beat it up anymore. Get yourself a MoFi. Get yourself a grandfathered sim. Go on eBay. Ask a friend. Ask me. Ask anyone. Google. Find a fucking grandfathered plan. Rent one. Put it in. Lock on some bands. Get some internet. And you're good to go. Okay? I, I, don't, I don't know how else to put it. It's basically a hot spot like a jetpack. Okay? So get it, rock and roll with it. If you're not getting a good enough internet and you're only getting a couple mags down, get a ProxyCast antenna, 99 bucks. ProxyCast, search it on Amazon. Check my other videos. 
But if you want the best of the best, even if you're like two miles from the tower, get a parabolic grid. It is $249. Get a parabolic grid because look at what I got. 12 miles from a tower, shooting through some trees, shooting over water. My neighbor got it too. He went from getting nothing. Now we can get anywhere from 10 to 20 down. Okay. So it's better than what he had. It's better than Viasat. Go with it. All right. That's pretty much all I got, guys. Hey, uh, I'm going to show you guys a quick preview intro of my new YouTube channel for all you all bastards that just want to keep watching the tech stuff on, on how to make your home internet better. Well, if you just have a question, shoot me a comment, whatever. But please go to my new YouTube channel and friggin' subscribe, man. I told you. I wasn't on YouTube to get famous, but now I am. Fuck it, right? <laughs> it's fun. All y'all, so many, so many of you guys following me and 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 if you look at one of my MoFi vids, I don't know, it's got, I don't know, shit, over 20, 40,000 views. I don't know, a lot of views, man. That's because when you Google MoFi or Parabolic Grid, my vids come up. Why? Because I'm the shit. I know what I'm talking about. Nobody else has done it. Um, and I put a lot of money and time into this shit. I deserve it. I've gotten not a dime out of this. No, one guy did give me 25 bucks for answering his questions. He sent me a PayPal. That was, that was the sweetest thing ever. I did get some money. I don't know if I should have said that on YouTube. But yeah, so um, guys, I love you, man. Friggin' enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. Okay, guys, come on, man. You tell me that is not a sweet ass YouTube page, right? Man, my son, my boy that you saw upstairs on his computer, he kind of helped me design this. You know, he knows he's good with layouts and stuff. I'm 38 years old. I'm getting away from that kind of stuff. You know, look at my three whopping videos, man. Three. So I'm mainly looking for people to submit me stuff to the email. All right. Send me stuff for a feature of your stuff. If you got anything uh, interesting, paranormal, ET, UFOs, uh, Area 51, freaking sonic boom booms whatever you got man send it my damn way because i would love to feature your content on here okay um let's let, let's see my latest video that's one hell of a name I, hey uh, i just want to hey, let's show you guys what's going on guys john here what's up what is up i can see you can you see me we all do that too so now I'm getting all professional and shit. You see that? Hey guys, what's going on? It's John here. Hey, welcome to the channel. Uh, we're going to talk about some things. Uh, welcome to... Uh, no, sense. it's not me the whole time. Okay. Like we're talking about things. It's we're showing some videos. Um, check it out, guys. If you're, if you're into science and discovery and, and just cool shit, check it out. Meat of the matter. Love y'all. Stay safe. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Boom. Fist pump. Bump.